I should but I'm an artist. I love art and I love you. Come to me and kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. My name is Steve Caballero, I'm 31 years old. I've been skating for 18 years. First got sponsored by Powell in 1979. They turned me pro in 1980, and I've been with them ever since then. Can you see that it's a fake thing? Can you see that it will break things? For a start, it will break your heart. First board came out in 1980, uh, which had a graphic of a dragon. The reason why I picked a dragon was I've always had a thing for dragons. I think they're cool looking. Plus, I was born in 1964, which is the year of the dragon. I guess you could say some of my graphics have been a reflection of my life. Uh, one time I picked a dragon on a motorcycle, because at that time, I was really heavily into uh, collecting British motorcycles. One of my favorite graphics has to be the one of my dog, Harley, which is a picture of him chewing up one of my boards. First thing I remember of Steve is um, I was about uh, 16 and uh, there was this rumor that was this guy and we heard that he was uh, going to go to the uh, skate park in uh, San Diego. So his whole crew, we all went down to see him and um, we ran into the park really quick and uh, he was passing us on the sidewalk. His board was like half the size of him at least. He was pedaling like a fish going by on the sidewalk. Stacy was with this kid, and we're all, that's him, that's the guy. Yeah, that's him. Back in the early 80s, um, skateboarding was starting to die out, and it was becoming underground, and that's when I discovered punk rock, and some of my friends from the skate park, we got together and we started a, a punk rock band, and we named it The Faction. <laughs> First time I had seen him skate, I knew that I wanted to be around him because he wanted to be around the best. And he was considered the best. He was the best. He just had that uh, drive to be the best, and he still has it. So I still want to be around him today because he gives me that drive. Just to be able to reach your full potential, basically, in whatever you do. You know, I've never been with a skater who's more widely recognized or, you know, I mean, I've been in airports, hotel lobbies, anywhere you can imagine someone recognizes him, someone you don't expect to recognize, but a pro skater, you know. Hey, you're Steve Cavallaro, you know. Out of filming all the videos that we did, Animal Chin was the best video. Uh, probably was the hardest one to film, but the funnest. Skateboard Madness at the video store about my house when I was just getting into skating. 
I was disappointed with the video because, you know, I didn't see any of the guys that I've been seeing in magazines in the video. But then, here comes Cavalero's section, and, you know, he's this tall, <laughs> just killing it. And I was just like, man, okay, this guy's been around. He's still around. I'd say after uh, the faction broke up, um, my musical taste changed a little bit, and I started getting into a little bit more mellower type of music. And that's when I formed the band Odd Man Out. To this day, I'm, you know, when I go skate, I think of Steve Caballero in my mind. I think of Stevie because of the amount of perseverance and amount of determination that he has to skate as long as he can. I mean, he's such a young sport still, and yet this guy is one of the guys that I think is still pushing the limits. It wasn't until the early 90s where I started the band Shovelhead, and that was a little bit more harder edged band. And that's, I think, that's about the time when street skating was really popular. This guy has been riding for the same company longer than I've been skateboarding. I mean, 18 years he's been sponsored by the same company. I think of commitment and integrity, you know, when I think of him. I also think of uh, um, dedication. You know, he's dedicated to skateboarding. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for uh, Stevie for all that he's done, and he's been a big influence in for all of us. And there's no one who skateboards to this day that cannot say that they have not been influenced by Steve Caballero. When I'm not skating, uh, I like to do a little bit of drawing, uh, buy model kits and paint them. Uh, and I especially like collecting action figure toys like Spawn, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Toy Story. And I just picked up this guy right here. This is the Talking Turbo Man. It's Turbo Time! I like to play chess with my friend Donnie. And I especially like hanging out with my wife Sue. Oh. 